Hi everyone, so we're here at the Planning for Youth Success Conference and I'm here with Ms. Ilian Howie, our reading is the University of Maryland. So we're here today at the Cayman International School supporting um, United Against Bullying. Uh, we have a booth here and uh, yeah. I thought we'd start off by asking some very like deep questions, very important questions. And my first question to you is, have you ever been bullied? <laughs> you know, that was something like probably last year or the year before. Someone asked me that and I you know, I was never bullied because you kind of go back to like your childhood. Like, no, I can't recall being bullied as a child because I think I was very strong and you know, just very confident and just all my skin. Right. And so perhaps that sort of energy deterred bullies yeah. yes. um, in school. But, you know, just shortly after that, I experienced some real, you know, just immense bullying. Yeah. And, um, and then I'm like, you know what? You can be bullied at any age, not just as a child in school, but even as an adult. Yeah. yeah. And that was more, without you getting specific to anything, was that more of an online situation, Social more of an in person? Yeah. Not in person. bullying can be in person, online. In person, but I think, you know, people go to social media because it's a, it's a cowardly approach, right, I think. Right. And um, it, it gives them that cushion to say whatever they want without being accountable. Right, right. And how did you deal with that? Once you got that time in your life of bullying, how did you cope with it? What were your mechanisms to get through it? My faith in God, for sure. I had a strong, um, you know, support network with um, my prayer group. Right. I'm a part of a Bible study that um, they just, you know, was really there to support me, my family, my friends. And yeah, just my, my faith in God. Yeah. I would say for me, my story was very similar too. I don't recall going through any like intense bullying. Of course, in primary school, you have the occasional, you know, something mean is said or you know, little small things like that. But I didn't have anything major because, like yourself, I felt like I was very confident. I felt like I was the one that kind of stood up for those who were being bullied. Yeah, I that was me. Yeah, I felt like in my in my case, I would always be like, well, "Why are you talking to them like that?" Yeah, like, yeah I was stoned up in that way. I was that person. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, Don't you mess with me. Yeah. You know, but so yeah. It, it's just one of those things. I think in life, you just go through, you know, different phases in life. You will experience different things. That's just how you handle it. Right. Yes. And for me, I think just looking at it as, you know, who's saying this, mm -hmm. or what could I have done better, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or you know, sometimes you have to reflect on on yourself, yes. on the situation, or you just look at the individual or individuals that are actually, yeah. you know, pushing the negative um, right. energy out there, yeah. and um, I just wonder. What, is the, what are their issues? Right. And so, you know, when you get a, a good understanding of, of the situation, I think it helps you to cope yeah. much better. I want to pull something you said. You said, you basically said, hold yourself accountable to it. I love that you said that. Yes. Because I, I think that sometimes yes. in situations, we don't see the, the part that we play. Yeah. And so I love that you mentioned that. And mm -hmm. also, something important is to remember that your reaction is so important. Absolutely. The way you react to things yes. can determine the route that it takes. Absolutely. And so, so that's you, another you come, you know, with you meet another negative uh, force with another negative right, fire, fire. Yeah, that's yeah. just kind of explode. So sometimes right. you just gotta let go and let go. Yeah, yeah. yeah I love that. Well, thank yeah. you. That was a great conversation. I encourage you to have conversations like this with maybe a friend, a family member, a stranger. You never know whose life you could change. And have the conversation going about bullying. It's a prevalent issue in our society. We can't run from it. So have conversations about it. Make it a normal thing to talk about and find the solutions and be a better and bigger person in the situation. You got this. You're going to make it through it. If you are facing something right now, if it's hard and dark, I just want you to know that God's got you. It's going to be okay. And we love you. It's just time. Temporary. Everything is just temporary. We just, you know, we, like I said, we go through different phases. You gotta believe in yourself, love yourself, yeah. not allow any situation to define you or right. what people say about you.